Hiya, in the previous video I showed you a Korean style makeup done with this palette. While that makeup is cute, it's a little bit too sparkly and too colorful for me to wear on everyday basis. So in this video I'm going to show you three makeups I came up with based on this palette that are a little bit more toned down and more realistically wearable for me on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm gonna start with applying this shade here all over my eyelids. It looks quite delicate, but on the eyelid it's a little bit shimmery. Now with the brush I'm gonna apply this darker shade here. It looks quite browny, but on the eyelid it's much more orangey. Looks quite strong now, but I'm gonna blend it. Now as a final touch, I'm gonna make use of those glittery glitters and just add a tiny bit of here on the lower eyelid, just for a tiny little sparkle, but not too much. Now just the eyeliner and the mascara and that's gonna be look number one. That's the complete look number one. In my opinion, is toned down enough for everyday wear. Um, I put two layers of mascara, but if I wanted to go even lower, I can just stick with one layer. And um, I can see myself wearing it to the office when we return, obviously, because we're working from home now. This is the first makeup look from the distance. I think it's pretty and calm enough for a daily wear. My lips are now burning with the chili peppers. <laughs> Let's move to the look number two now. The second look will be more pinkish in tone. I'm gonna go to the darker shade straight away. I put some powder on my lids as a base. In a camera it still looks quite orangey, but I promise you it's more pink than the previous one. Now for the inner corner, I'm gonna go for this glittery shade here. I'm gonna use my finger. Hopefully you'll be able to see why I said this is more purpley than the previous one. I hope by now you can see some purpley holographic shimmer on the lids. To finish off this look, I'm gonna go for a shade that isn't in the palette, but I bet everybody has shade like that in their collection. And this is kind of very basic white shimmery shade. And I'm gonna apply it with a brush on the bottom lid. Now the liner and the mascara. Highlighter. I'm gonna apply a different kind of lipstick as well. Okay, and that's the complete look. I hope you can see the difference uh, between the previous one as well, because I don't think camera picks it up well at all. This is the complete look number two. I really like the sparkle. I like that it's a little bit more cooler than the first one. This is probably the closest to what I wear in other videos, so it might look quite familiar. <laughs> The last makeup is still gentle, but still the most jazzy of all. I'm gonna start with this nude shade here and put it all over the eyelid. It goes like butter. That's what I really like about those shades. Now I'm gonna go straight for the purple glitter and apply it in the outer corner of the eye and a little bit in the middle as well. It almost looks like you've got nothing on. Yet, in the right light, it sparkles. That's the only two shades I'm gonna use from this palette. And now the jazzy bit, I'm gonna uh, also use a shadow that isn't included in the palette. It's a purple eyeshadow by Lancome and I'm gonna apply it in the lower eyelid, but just in a corner here. It's like barely there. It's almost nothing, but again, from the right angle, you can see a tiny bit of purple under your eyes. I'm just gonna finish off with the eyeliner and the mascara and this time I'm gonna use them in black. And that's pretty much makeup number three. I'm just gonna put a lip gloss and that's it. That's the most jazzy, sparkly makeup out of all three. I 
hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for spending this time with me. And who knows, maybe I've just introduced you to your new best friend, which is a Korean eyeshadow palette by Clio. Thanks very much. See you later. Bye bye.